Hey there, coin enthusiasts. Welcome back to Worth Coin Channel, the go-to place for all things numismatic. And today we've got a real treat for you. A deep dive into four ultra-rare one-dime coins from the years 1971, 1977, 1981, and 1984. Stick around, because we're not just talking about their value, but also unraveling the fascinating history behind each of these unique pieces. So let's jump right in. We've got these four beauties right here, the 1971, 1977, 1981, and 1984 one-dime coins. Now, these are not your average dimes, and we're about to find out why. First up, the 1971 one-dime, also known as the Roosevelt dime, holds a special place in the hearts of coin collectors. Produced by the United States Mint, this coin features the iconic profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse, and an olive branch torch, and oak branch on the reverse. But what about its value? Let's dig into that. Several factors influence the value of a 1971 one dime. First and foremost is its condition. Coins in mint condition tend to be more valuable than those with wear and tear. Look out for any scratches, dings, or discoloration. Additionally, the rarity of a specific mint mark can significantly impact the coin's value. Keep an eye out for those, now, let's talk numbers. The 1971 one dime has seen fluctuations in its market value over the years. To get an accurate estimate of its current value, it's essential to stay updated with market trends. Missing in coin catalogues, coin shows, and reputable dealers can be great resources to track the value of your 1971 one dime. Beyond its monetary value, let's delve into the historical significance of the 1971 one one dime. The early 1970s were a period of change and transition in the United States. Understanding the historical context can add depth to your coin collection and make it even more intriguing. For those looking to add the 1971 one dime to their collection, here are a few tips. Start by checking your coins for any errors or varieties that might make them unique. Keep an eye out for coins in uncirculated or proof condition for the best potential value. And of course, always do your research before making any purchases. I think I reckon a 1877 dime. Let's talk about the value of the 1977 dime. Now, the value of any coin can vary based on factors like its condition, rarity and historical significance. This year, but said enough, is my last update in 2022. A circulated 1977 dime is generally worth its face value. But if you happen to stumble upon one in pristine condition, the value could be higher. Be sure to check with a reputable coin dealer or use online resources for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Now, let's move on to the dimensions of the 1977 dime, particularly its diameter. The diameter of a dime is a crucial aspect for collectors and enthusiasts alike. The 1977 dime, like other dimes minted in the 20th century, has a diameter of 17.91 millimetres. It's always fascinating to hold these tiny pieces of history and imagine the stories they could tell. Speaking of stories, let's delve into the history of the 1977 dime. The 1977 dime was part of the Roosevelt Dime Series, which began in 1946 to honour President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who passed away in 1945. The front of the coin features a profile of Roosevelt, while the reverse side showcases an olive branch, a torch, and an oak branch, symbolising peace, liberty, and strength. In 1977, the United States Mint produced dimes in both the Philadelphia and Denver Mints. The Philadelphia Mint can be identified by the absence of a mint mark, while the Denver Mint has a D-Mint mark. It's always exciting for collectors to search for these mint marks as they add an extra layer of uniqueness to each coin. 1980 on a dime. Take a look at this beauty. The 1981 dime features the iconic port portrait of Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse and an olive branch torch and oak branch on the reverse. They keep E2 Vince to work, for it was minted in Philadelphia but keep an eye out for variations like the USA's mint mark indicating San Francisco. Now, let's talk value. Several factors influence the worth of a 1981 dime, rarity condition, and mint mark play crucial roles. If you've got a coin in mint condition, or with a rare mint mark, its value could skyrocket. Keep in mind that factors like scratches wear, and tarnishing can affect the overall value. 
Speaking of mint marks, there are a few noteworthy varieties you might come across. Keep an eye out for the Anomint mint marks or type 2 variety, which lacks the APs or Tuving Aura's mint mark. These can be quite valuable and are sought after by collectors. Now let's talk dollars and cents, quite literally. The 1981 die has seen fluctuations in its market value over the years. To get an accurate estimate of its current value, check online coin pricing guides, auction results, or consult with a reputable coin dealer. 1884 one dime. Lastly, we talk the 1984 dime is composed of 91.67 copper and 833 nickel, giving it that distinct silvery appearance. On the obverse, we have the iconic profile of President Franklin D. D. Roosevelt, and on the reverse we find a torch, an olive branch, and an oak branch, symbolising liberty, peace, and strength. Now let's travel back in time to 1984 and explore some historical context. What was happening in the world, and how does it relate to this time? In 1984, the world saw significant events, from political changes to technological advancements. This dime serves as a tangible piece of that history, a small but important artefact from the past. All right, let's address the big question. What's the value of the 1984 dime today? To find out, we need to consider factors like its condition, mint mark, and any potential errors or varieties. Generally, circulated 1984 dimes are still quite common and can be found in pocket change. However, if you happen to have one in pristine condition, or with a specific mite mark, its value could be higher. Keep an eye out for any errors, as those can also make a dime more valuable to collectors. Now let's take a look at the current market trends. Prices for coins can fluctuate based on demand and other economic factors. Checking reputable coin price guides or consulting with a professional appraiser can give you a better understanding of the 1984 dime's current value. There you have it, folks. The 1971-1974-1981-1984 dime, a tiny treasure with a rich history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just curious about coins, understanding the value and history behind each piece can add a whole new dimension to your numismatic journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and subscribe for more coin-related content. Until next time, happy collecting!